In this video, you want to derive an important property of uh, the gamma function. In particular, le let's start from gamma of epsilon, where epsilon is a real variable that we will later suppose that it will uh, tend to zero. But for now, it is just a variable, a real variable, real positive variable. And according to the properties of uh, the gamma function, it's very easy to to prove this, this, the following property. So we can write it as gamma of epsilon plus one divided by epsilon. This is a very simple property of the gamma function. And this can be written as one over epsilon integral from zero to infinity dx x to the epsilon e to the minus x. And this is equal to, if we remember that the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus x dx is just equal to 1. This can be written as 1 over epsilon, and then I have 1 coming from this result here, plus integral from 0 to infinity of x to the epsilon minus 1 e to the minus x dx, like this. So you can see that I have subtracted 1 from uh, this function. And therefore, here I have to put 1 because I have to, um, to add this integral here, but this integral is just equal to 1. So this is how I can write it. Then I can also rewrite it as 1 over epsilon plus integral from 0 to infinity x to the epsilon minus 1 over epsilon e to the minus x dx. Now I can let epsilon go to zero and you can easily see that for example if you if you use the the L'Hopital rule here you would have to take the derivative of the numerator and also the denominator to calculate the limit as epsilon goes to zero because uh, both the denominator and the numerator go to zero as epsilon goes to zero so this limit here can also be calculated as the limit as epsilon goes to zero of the derivative of the numerator. So we have the derivative of x to the epsilon, and I can take the derivative with respect to epsilon of, I can rewrite it as e to the natural log of x to the epsilon, which is just equal to e to the epsilon times logarithm of uh, x. And then I have to divide by one. So the derivative of epsilon with respect to f with respect to epsilon is just one, simple as that. So if I take this derivative here, that's just e to the epsilon ln epsilon times ln x. And when I set epsilon equal to zero, I get ln x, simple as that. So I can rewrite this as one over epsilon minus gamma, where gamma is just a constant and it is equal to minus the integral from 0 to infinity of ln x e to the minus x dx. This is called the Euler Mascheroni constant. Euler Mascheroni. It's a very important constant. And uh, I will say something more in the next video about this constant and uh, its significance, its meaning. I want to say something more about it. And I just wanted to tell you that um, this property here is very easy to prove. So let me just tell you that if we start from gamma of epsilon plus one, we have the integral from zero to infinity of dx x to the epsilon e to the minus x. I want to integrate by parts. So I, I want to uh, rewrite the integral like this. First, I integrate e to the minus x. So I want to write it as x to the epsilon, then I have d of minus e to the minus x. Then I can write this as x to the epsilon with a minus e to the minus x. Evaluated between zero and infinity here. So we want, we want this term to, to decay to go to zero. So when uh, we set x equal to infinity, we don't have any problem, even if uh, epsilon is negative, actually, because we have this decaying exponential, which will decay very fast. 
but we realize that uh, when uh, x goes to zero, if we want this term to decay, we need epsilon to be greater than zero. So epsilon greater than zero. And then we have plus integral from zero to infinity, epsilon x to the epsilon minus one, e to the minus x dx. But, well, lo and behold, here you simply get epsilon times gamma of epsilon, just like this. So we derived the property that uh, we wanted to derive in here. In general, epsilon might not be a real number. It could also be a complex number, but we have to make sure that the real part of this uh, complex number is greater than zero. Otherwise, we cannot say that uh, a term like this in the integration by parts would go to zero.